I'll do the colors. Oh, thank you. So I'll just do the colors so that you guys can somewhat see what I'm going for. Like, I want to actually, like, color it, color it. Um. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to make two layers. Uh, what should I call this? I'll just do costume colors. Let's just call it that. Simple enough. See, I say that, but I actually just might end up coloring this actual thing, like, entirely. Is there anything else purple, or that kind of purple? No. I was like, are the comments just not coming through or what? Hey Fairy Tempest, how's it going? Um, I'm drawing one of my own characters. Um, I'll show you the full in a second. Oh shit, I didn't close this off. Where is it not closed? Oh, I see it now. What did I even press? I'm gonna clean up all this stuff, but this is how it's coming along. And I'm doing a model sheet for my character, so I have them in all these poses. I said to draw this costume and color it <laughs> in all these poses. So it's still like, you know, long way to go, but I don't know, I'm excited. It's cool. I think it's looking nice so far. Thank you. 
Uh, in a way, yes, and in a way, no. Like, it is, it's for my video game, um, but I'm not, like, anywhere near, like, a finished product for the video game. It's more just trying to get the concept out and everything, um, for now, until I can, I can actually make it a reality. That's everything for now. It's all time for the cleanup. Thank you, and thank you for the follow. Alright, you know what, I'm not going to clean up those lines because there's going to be another color over that anyways. So, I'll just be wasting time. Oh yeah, that's right, you guys can actually see the time. <laughs> yeah, it's only, yep, it's only six. I was like, like, what? How do you know the time? Um, yes and no. Well, I mean, yes in the sense that I do want to start doing it more frequently. Um. But no, because I think I've only done like one other art stream before, and that was like a year or so ago. Um, but I do want to start actually doing it, like as a, as a blah, as an actual thing. Just because I usually just stream video games, and I stream me playing. is but yeah it's also like the following too because I think like the most amount of people that I've had so far was just like five until now it's been like seven
Hey, Flying Ace. You caught me at a good time. You caught me doing one of my hobbies that isn't playing video games. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. Well then, yeah, I mean, you can tune into mine every now and then, like, whenever I do the art streams. Because the, the main video games that I play are fighting games, not RPGs. Oh wait, that's fine. That's another color over there. Oh, how did I miss this, idiot? I'm calling myself an idiot, by the way. That's what I call myself. Uh, Ace, I'll show you the full thing in a minute. I'm just trying to clean up all of these lines. Alright, there's still some cleaning up to do, but this is how it's looking. I don't know, I usually I started off drawing by hand and then I picked up digital painting. So I, I still do draw by hand. Sometimes I draw by hand and then I scan the image in and I paint it digitally, but or sometimes I just draw it all digitally from scratch. Kind of like this one. <laughs> what, what? What's wrong with this? Um. Why is it like full screen? How do I minimize this? Oh, I didn't realize. <laughs> um, I took like figure drawing classes, but not until like a few years ago. How do how do I shrink this? Window. Crap, I don't know. Fit to screen? No, that's not it. Okay, there we go. Oh no, I know how to zoom out. The problem was that it wasn't just like a standard zoom out. It was like the whole menu itself, like all of Photoshop, which is like full sized. <laughs> oh, 
Is that white? Yeah. draw from emotion meaning like abstract sort of stuff uh, is there anything else white on this I don't think so That's a good way to look at it, um, Fairy Tempest. I kind of I see it that same way, except I haven't really been practicing my sculpting. <laughs> but I definitely agree with what you're saying, because that, that's how I saw it for a while too. I, I still see it that way, but I haven't actually been like at it. Um, Oh, okay, I see Ace. Oh, nice. I use those characters also, but mainly Wonder Woman. Um, hey, Icer, what's up? Came straight from <laughs> MKX, so yeah, this is my... This is like my art. Um... I think that's all the white. <laughs> Let me make a group for this. I mean, I should call it costume colors. <laughs> Hello, Grejo. I know it is not. But I guess I am flattered that my character looks that way. Uh, give me a second, I'll show you the full thing. Oh, 
Okay, well I guess that works. Oh, I personally, I don't like, um, what's her face? I don't like Catwoman. Or, wait. I was reading the wrong comment and then replying to something else. Uh, yeah, I guess kind of like Catwoman. But not really. I mean, this character's a lot cooler. And she actually has powers, unlike Catwoman. Even though Catwoman has, like, supernatural stuff going on. Despite being a basic human. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm definitely hyped for Starfire 2. I think she's going to be the highest selling DLC like in any fighting game. to make these straps. I think, yeah, I think she's going to be a hybrid. I think she's going to be like offensive and zoning. Mm, what am I missing over here? No, yeah, I think that that annoys everybody, and I think that I that's what makes the zoners so bad, right? Not, not the zoners so bad, but that's what makes them so good, is the fact that they have a full-screen game, which they can win with on its own, and they have an up-close game that they can also win with. It gets a pretty bad design on NRS's end.
But yeah, you guys, I mean, feel free to ask me some more questions. I can multitask. <laughs> Oh yeah, my stomach did growl. I'm hungry. I was I was actually just thinking about that right now. I'm like, what the hell am I gonna eat? Should I order pizza? Should I get Chinese food? What am I gonna do? I don't know what color to make these straps. Who's in Bo Bo Bobby? Who are you? You're inviting me to Grand Theft Auto. Wait. Wait. Song. I know I sound so basic, but I love pad thai in general. Like if we're talking foreign food, I love pad thai. I like masala chicken. I love roti. I love oxtail. I love basically any Italian dish. Um, I'm Hispanic, so mostly basically any Hispanic dish also. Um. But yes, I did. I already did design the concept for the game. Like I have it written out. I have a lot of stuff planned out for the game, like move sets, game design, the mechanics of the game, um, like character roster, stages, and all that stuff. Like I have a lot of the concepts already down, and it's still like a work in progress. But I spent several years like actually planning it. could fall into the same colors here. Yeah, for me, I kind of, I don't really, like, give myself a cheat day, necessarily. Um, well, now I do. Now I try to regulate what I eat. But before, or, like, when I do start working out again, like, on, on a regular basis, I worked out, one was to get into the shape that I wanted to be in, and then also so that I can afford to eat whatever I wanted, basically, whenever I felt like it. I'm like, oh, well, I'll just burn it off the next day, I don't care. So I still kind of had that going on. Like if I eat too much, like if I indulge too much, then the next day actually like I do force myself to go to the gym. I'm like all right, I'm gonna burn this off. But I just need to get back into routine, and I'll be good.
Oh, excuse me. Yeah, that's what I that's what I do. Well, I don't have that specifically, but I just like I'll eat fruit or something like that. Um, or I'll eat like granola bars or yogurts to try to just like you know <laughs> replace the lack of exercise. So now this part is done. I'm just trying to get all these colors down. So that way I have some sense of direction what to do after. Oh shit. You know what? I'm gonna leave that pixel alone. When I actually start the shading, I'll just cover it up. I don't care. I'm not killing myself over that little pixel. I am receiving a call from Texas. I am from New York, so I'm not picking that up. If it's important, they'll leave a message. I have a voicemail set up. Yeah, it's so strange. It's like, like the area code isn't even anywhere like similar. Like, why are you calling me? Got my stomach growled again. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. I heard. I saw the tweet of it. I'm like, yeah, it's gonna be up for like forever. So I'll get, I'll get to it eventually. It's gonna be up for like 70 hours, I think, or something like that. So I'm like, I, I have time.
I don't even know the name of that song, but that's one of my favorite songs. I hear it in like a couple of playlists, but I don't think they ever give the name for it. Which is a very upsetting. But if anybody's actually interested, I, I want people's opinions. That's why I'm like kind of putting this out there. And I mean, it's on my channel, so technically I have a copyright on this. Should any gaming company want to copy it um, or take credit for it, um, the way that the game would be d designed, it would be similar to like a variation system in MKX. Um, but the difference would be it would be only two variations. And it wouldn't exactly be like a variation variation. Um, it would work where one mode for a character gives them burnout meter, and then the other one gives them dual meter. And the way that it works is that each character, like, they have their, their base move set and their base playstyle. But what burnout would do is that it builds up over time throughout the match. And it's similar to the B trigger in Street Fighter, or similar to like Green Lantern's trait, where when you activate it, it starts running down the that separate bar and it gives a character access to like new specials or like enhanced specials and stuff like that. When it comes to the dual meter, it's in a way kind of like Supergirl's trait, um, but it's basically like a separate, it's like a, an additional meter burn bar where it's like, you know how you have your regular meter and it's broken up into like three segments or in this game four segments for injustice, it would be an additional stack right on top of that. Um, but that meter can only be used for like specific specials or like specific moves. So, like a real easy example, like let's say Wonder Woman, she has her lasso, right? And her lasso grab. And that's her standard thing. With the dual meter, if she uses one of those bars, she would gain access to like a lasso spin. Let's say. Like as a new special. Or it would enhance certain moves that can't be enhanced any other way. Like... Let's say that her lasso grab, when it grabs you, you know, it does the same. If you meter burn it, it just does this additional damage. If you use that dual meter for it, it would just like, it, she, you know, like she'll reel them in and then she'll just like slam them on the ground and bounce them back up for a combo. So that's how those two, I guess, like play styles would work or like those two forms of meter. And that's what the game would be based off of. So it's more just like both versions, they just enhance the character's already existing playstyle, but it just it changes it up a bit. Like um like for one character that I already have planned out. Or let's say let's say for this character, for example, for Ep her name is Evelyn. As you can see, Evelyn model sheet or Evelyn the Mask Siren, that's how I have her called. Um for her, she's like um she's a very rushed down heavy character. Like she's very in your face and like mix heavy, but in the sense that she doesn't like gain like payouts from the mix ups. Like she'll gain knockdowns for her mix, but that's it. For her, like when she uses burnout, it would enhance like all of her blade attacks to do two hits. Sort of like Chun Li's in Street Fighter V, where she does multiple hits. But it'll be like anything with a blade attack, it would do 
it would be multi-hitting, so she'll break armor really, really easily. Um, when she's in like her bur her burnout phase, and then she'll gain like additional specials like related to the blades and whatnot. Um, but then when she uses dual meter, it would enhance like her electric based attacks, or it would enhance some of the blade attacks to do some more. So it's like they're both they're both in respect to her offensive play. It's just changing it up differently, like. When it comes to her burnout, she'll be able to just like be as offensive as she could possibly be, just like shredding through armor and everything like that. When it comes to her dual meter, she'll gain like more mix-up potential, and not just like strictly offense necessarily. For another character that I have, they're very defensive based, very footsie based, and like full screen. When they're in burnout, it just enhances that that much more. Like they have so much more screen control. Um, but then with the dual meter, they can still use their offense, but then they'll be able to use their offense, not not their offense, but they'll be able to use their defense as an offense. But not like in any broke way, like how <laughs> NRS designs it. Kind of like, um, like Green Lantern, how he has his wall. It would be something like that, where they would gain specials related to that with their dual meter, where it's like, they can still use it as a defense, but then it would just like, you know, like lunge something forward. Or they can cancel into it up close, so that it has a like, pushback and whatnot. What am I missing here? But yeah, more or less, like the concept for the game is just it's very it focuses around meter management, like for every single character. Uh, no. I mean, I've seen NRS's career opportunities, but the thing is, it's like they want degrees and stuff like that. So that's the only thing. Like, I would personally love for NRS to take the idea. Because I, I love their animation style. I think that they have one of the best looking games out there, like aesthetically speaking. The only problem is I, I don't want to sell them like the entire rights because I want the game to come out a certain way. I don't want them to be biased about it and you know, basically approach it the same way that they approach their other games. Just because I feel like they can easily balance their games like so well for everybody to enjoy it, but they don't for whatever reason. Thank you. 
Yeah, right? It's like, look at Catwoman, how she turned out. It's like, ooh, big surprise there. I wonder who... I wonder who convinced someone that Catwoman should be as ridiculous as she is. Hmm. Oh yeah, there's... It's gonna be a relatively small roster just because of the story lore. It's gonna be like 20 characters. Um... But it's like it's just like one part of like many. Just because the lore of the story like continues onward past the first game. And yeah, I do, yeah, I do have more characters in general. I don't know, I think that that's what would make me, or make my game different than everybody else's, just because I would actually like all my characters, you know? Like, I would want everybody to be viable. Like, it doesn't really matter what tier falls under what, or who falls in what tier in my game, but... It's like, so long as everybody is viable, I would be happy. It seems like everybody else's approach is having specific characters be top, and having specific ones be bottom. I don't know, I think that it's just a really, really poor way to approach it. Especially, like, if you're gonna throw in lore. It's like, if you're gonna throw in lore, you might as well not even make the fighting game to begin with. Because every single lore usually has, like, one or two, like, old powerful characters. That would easily just stomp everybody else. <laughs> yeah, Denia seems cool. I personally, I would love to live long too. Not, not to the sense, or not in the sense that it's like afraid of dying or anything like that. It's more just, I would like to actually like gain like mastery of so many things, you know, for being able to live that long. Like, can you imagine what you can do with all that time? Even on my screen, this is looking like really, really orangey or basically the wrong shade that I'm going for. So I'm going to edit this after I do all this cleanup. How do you forget Sindel? Sindel's like the best one there. Sindel was the first character I ever played in Mortal Kombat. And I've loved the character since. This character would actually, this, this character right now, Evelyn, she would have a few moves reminiscent of Sindel, like regarding her hair.
<laughs> hey, just that guy. I'm almost done with this cleanup process. I'll show you the whole thing. And also because I need to see the whole thing too, how it's looking. Should keep that. No, it's not Vega. It's like a female version, I guess. That's how people consider her. I know she looks similar. It honestly, was never my intention. When I came up with the character, like with the first design, I was in high school. I, was, I never played Street Fighter at that point. Like, I didn't even know who the hell Vega was. Yeah, I, I use Chun Li in Street Fighter. Oh yeah, that's how it's looking. I need to see it on the stream, so I want to see how the colors look. Because my laptop displays colors differently. And how he looks in a final version. Right, let me dull her hair color a little. To See how that looks. Oh, yeah, that looks better. All right, that's as much as I can possibly do. Oh, my God. I've been drawing for hours. Um. But yeah. That <laughs> needs more thickness. I mean, the other poses, like, show it more a bit. Especially the last one. Because I'm doing a model sheet for this character.
So yeah, I said let's do the shading and everything, like the actual shades and the gradients for this whole thing. Um, but yeah. 